In this video, we will be studying about the photosynthesis. This is the process through which the green plants make their own food. See, let's understand that this is the soil, right? And there is water inside the soil. Now, the minerals and water from the soil is a is extracted by the roots and it is sent through the stems to the plant and to the leaves. Now leaves get the these minerals from uh, and water from the roots from the soil of the plant. Now these leaves have a green pigment called chlorophyll. Now this leaves also has a tiny pores called stomata which is guarded by the guard cells now what stomata do stomata uh, you know attracts or uh, intake the carbon dioxide from air is taken through these pores that is stomata then what chlorophyll do, does it helps the leaf to capture the energy of the sunlight this energy is used to synthesize food from carbon dioxide and water since the synthesis of food occurs in the presence of sunlight it is the it is called as photosynthesis. Now, the carbon dioxide is taken by the stomata. After that, the sunlight is taken by the chlorophyll. Now, in the presence of sunlight, these plants prepare their own food. And while preparing the food, plants release the oxygen. And they make the food in the form of glucose or starch. Now, Green plants make their own food with the help of carbon dioxide and water in the presence of sunlight. With the help of help of green pigment called chlorophyll, and this process is known as photosynthesis. Now why this process is known as photosynthesis? Just because photo means light and synthesis means to combine. Right? So sunlight, carbon dioxide, water, chlorophyll are necessary to carry out the process of photosynthesis. It is a unique process on the earth. The solar energy is captured by the leaves and stored in the plant in the form of food. The sun is the ultimate source of energy for all living organisms. Now in the absence of photosynthesis there would have been no, uh, there would not be any food. The survival of almost all living organisms directly or indirectly depends upon the food made by the plants. Now oxygen which is essential for the survival of all uh, living organisms is produced during photosynthesis. In the absence of photosynthesis life would be impossible on the earth. Now during photosynthesis chlorophyll combined cells of leaves. The presence of sunlight uses carbon dioxide and water to synthesize carbon carbohydrates. The process can be represented as photosynthesis. Now photosynthesis can be represented as carbon dioxide. Now this is carbon dioxide. Plus water in the process of sunlight and chlorophyll it gives uh, 
out oxygen plus carbohydrate. Now this is the process through which the this is how you write the process of photosynthesis. Now during the process oxygen is released and the carbohydrates ultimately gets converted into starch and are utilized by the plants. The presence of stars and leaves indicates the occurrence of photosynthesis. Now you can check that whether the leaf has a starch or not. Now put the leaf in the iodine for some time if it uh, is turned into violet or red or if it changes its color which means that the leaf have carbohydrates or the starch present in it. I hope you like our video. Please download our scholars learning app and enjoy the learning experience with us.